Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. Following up on my video about fixing Nikon, where I was discussing one of the biggest problems with Nikon is their video autofocus. The fact that they don't have anything comparable to Canon's dual pixel AF or Sony's similar system. The ability to follow smoothly and accurately during video or during live view. And, you know, Canon pioneered this. The dual pixel AF system has been a big feather in their cap for quite a while now. Sony arguably has caught up. Some people would even say surpassed it with the a7 III and the a9 and the Mark III, uh, a7R Mark III. Um, we have an interesting feedback from Dunny Monster, one of our regulars here at artoftheimage.com. Uh, Dunny says, I think once Nikon starts bringing out their mirrorless models, we'll see an immediate improvement in video AF. We've seen video go from perhaps the worst in terms of video to being in the top three with only Sony and Canon offering better video AF. My only worry is Nikon might lean more on Tower Jazz to supply their sensors and less on Sony. I'm not aware of any Tower Jazz sensors that are doing well with video AF, specifically phase detect. But quite, um, but who else is using their sensors other than Leica, which clearly has equally poor video, is anybody's guess. Maybe some Panasonic models featuring a Tower Jazz sensor. Tower Jazz is part owned by Panasonic, I believe. If that is the case, then we should be concerned as we all know how lousy their contrast, uh, contrast detect depth from defocus system is for video. To follow up on that from Dunny, we've got Luke saying, the video quality I get from my D750 and a 50 F1.8G is outstanding. Sharp, clear video with rich, vibrant colors. Until someone moves and the autofocus starts hunting all over the place, Nikon forced me to buy an SL2. In the second decade of the 21st century, being able to record video is not an option. It's a necessity. So Luke's basically saying he loved the quality of the video, but the autofocus system was so bad, he had to go out and buy a Canon SL2 to get the better autofocus, the dual pixel AF. Paul Campbell says, Matt, I shoot Nikon professionally and am heavily invested in their bodies and lenses. However, I would not be an automatic customer for their next mirrorless camera if and when it arrives, even if it offers a competitive autofocus system for video. I doubt that Nikon can carry over many of the things I like about Nikon in the mirrorless format. Size, shape, ergonomics of the bodies, batteries, current F-mount lenses, etc., etc. That means that Nikon is essentially starting from scratch to earn my business in a field that is crowded with mature, top-quality offerings. And then we have uh, William with a similar comment to Dunny's. He says, I think Nikon may or will fix the autofocus issues when their mirrorless full frame comes out. My hope is they'll also put in sensor stabilization so we can use older D lenses to shoot videos too. So interesting feedback. Um, I think absolutely I, Dunny's response and the other ones here, we do need to see Nikon has to improve that video focus in their um, mirrorless. It's something, uh, it's possible they are saving it. I hope Dunny's right. I hope they've already got it tweaked and it just hasn't been, maybe it wasn't tweaked in time for the 850 or they were intentionally saving it for the new mirrorless cameras and they're going to come out swinging because hopefully they'll come out with a very mature, fully featured, fully competitive mirrorless system and that has to include something equal to or better than dual pixel AF from Canon. So uh, hopefully we will see that, as Dunny says, in the mirrorless. As William says, it thinks it will come in the mirrorless. Uh, because we don't want, it's not good for any of us when one company falls behind and isn't competitive. We don't want to see more bleeding from Nikon. Like Luke said, loves the 750, loves the quality of the video, but he had to go buy an SL2 because the video focus just wasn't working. So what do you guys think? Do you think that we are going to see this from Nikon? I think I've seen patents out there for various systems similar to dual pixel AF from Nikon uh, over the years. And I keep thinking, oh, when's that coming? Uh, but do you think that's what will happen? We will see them come out of the gate swinging hard and that their first mirrorless offering, technically, I guess that's already happened if you look at the one series, but their first APS-C or full frame I'm not sure which we'll get first. I'm suspecting full frame uh, because there's been a lot of talk about it. But that will it will have a very competitive autofocus system for video, something similar to dual pixel AF or Sony's system, at least on par with. Do you think Nikon will 
hit one out of the park with that? Or do you think they're not going to be able, for some reason, this the reason that to date they haven't been able to keep up with their DSLRs, we're, we're not going to see that compet- in that area, we won't see that competitive in their mirrorless. I sure hope not, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Is Nikon's mirrorless going to be the start of the introduction of a new video autofocus system that's going to be awesome and competitive with Canon and Sony. Let me know what you guys have to say. Comments below. Always great to hear your feedback. Thanks for your feedback here, guys, and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.